Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time I've ever done something like this, but I have traded $300 worth of Pokemon product to my good friend, and he sent me, apparently, $300 of product back to me. Now, he said this mystery box, as we know, is supposed to be God tier, amazing tier, everything in the world tier, okay? But we're going to find out if he's capping or lying to us. Let's find out. <laughs> Welcome back to channel, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully y'all are having an absolutely wonderful, beautiful, and an amazing day. Now, before we get started, I feel like it's important for y'all to take a couple weeks back and go back in time to see what I actually traded him first. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we're doing. This is the cards that we're offering and the product that we're offering for this $300 ETB. Now, I did calculate everything, and this is what we're doing. First and foremost, we're doing a Rainbow Mewtwo V-Star in an SGC-10. Um, PSA 10 sales roughly were around like 70 to 80 to 90 dollars roughly, but CGC and others and SGC sales, um, they range anywhere from around 40 to 60 to 70 dollars. So I've estimated that this one will be roughly around 50 bucks is what I'll say for now. 50 dollars. Second thing is this gold Maridon EX worth around 20 dollars. And then, of course, stuff that you've already seen, ladies and gentlemen. We have the Briar SIR. He did request this. He wanted it. So I was like, all right, fine. I'll add it into your mystery box. This card currently, in the terms of value, is around $30. And, of course, another card we're adding to the mystery box is going to be this Reggie Gigas V-Star from Crown Zenith in a Gem Mint 10 for PSA. This card is roughly around anywhere from $30 to $40. On, um, conservatively, I'm going to say it's worth around $30. And then, as as culture requests and suggests and requires, we're also going to send him this Obsidian Flames. I'm so sorry. It's been a while. This Only Flames Sealed ETB. That's right. Around 35 bucks. And then, the big one that I am going to be sending him is a sealed product. Because um, I don't know if he wanted it. He said, he, just, he, just, he said, make this stuff up. I'm like, all right, fine. I'll just send you something sealed. So, I am going to send him... This Pokemon 151 Pokemon Center Exclusive Elite Trainer Box. Previous sales go um, have this going for roughly around $145, $150. Uh, I'm going to say it's $145. So in total, this uh, in terms of value, is worth $310 for this mystery box. So let's get into what he sent me. Lord have mercy. It better be worth it. Okay. So y'all saw what I traded him. Um, so you know what the value is now. And obviously, to be honest with you, uh, some of the value of the cards might have gone down. Some of the value of the cards might have gone up. I don't know. But this was sent like two, three weeks ago. And then I just got this box now. But here's the box. Now we know what we traded. So let's see what we get back. Here we go. All right. Let me move everything away. All right. So this is what it is. Okay. Okay. So we're starting off with some uh, sleeves and bulk from what I'm seeing. Ew. You know what? That kind of does look like me. Fair play. All right. So let's start off with this. Um, how? What is this? Is this an origami thing? Is there anything written in here? Ah, there is something written here. Peace and happiness all over the world. Let's hope so, buddy. Depending on what I get here. So let's start off with this. He gave me some Korean cards. Very nice. Very wonderful. We love us some Korean cards. Now we're going to blaze through this first. What is in the Korean cards? Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's right, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like it's just pure bulk, which is exactly what I asked for, clearly. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. There is a hollow back here, a Grim Snarl and an Espeon, but this hollow feels stick. Oh, there's three hollows back here. That's amazing. Great value. Is there anything other than just a hollow Espeon V? And let's keep going. Oh, another pack of bulk Pokemon cards in Korean. This is good, man. This is definitely $300 worth. Oh, number on VMAX in Korean. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is great. This is lovely, dude. This is so good. So apparently I'm his dumpster. I didn't realize that. 
I am never gonna financially recover from this. <laughs> That's really good. That's good. Clearly worth three hundred dollars. All right. So then he did give us some sleeves, which I always can use sleeves. So I'm a fan of sleeves. Are these those Van Gogh sleeves? Am I am I crazy? They don't look like the Van Gogh sleeves, but they look really nice. Sun Flora is really nice. These are some nice sleeves. I don't. I'm never gonna. These are the Van Gogh Museum sleeves. Okay. The so Pokemon Center is Van Gogh Museum. I actually didn't get any product from the Van Gogh stuff, so it's actually cool to have. I'm never gonna use these, by the way, because they're just too nice. So I appreciate that. This is a good one. I like that. And oh my gosh, he did give me the Pikachu van gogh sleeves which once again i'm never going to use these because this is just too nice but that's good to have um he gave me this world championship deck which i've seen this at targets and everywhere i think if i'm not mistaken and never been a fan it is it is what it is but there's a nice little key like a not a key what, what, what's the word i'm looking for two hours later pin Pin. There's a nice little pin in there and some coins and I think a deck sleeve here, which is it's nice. I'll keep it as sealed just for fun. And there's some more bulk Korean VMAX cards. Ladies and gentlemen, I am just being spoiled today. This is so good. This is so, so good. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Come on. Oh, yes. And these are warped beyond imagination these are this is you spoiled me this is amazing My eyes! okay so far ladies and gentlemen i'll be real the van gogh sleeves are the only good thing in this box so far <laughs> god okay but we just started okay so there is a slab in here we'll look at the slab later it is an ars slab so we don't know what that is yet but we will look at this um yeah there we go and there is this modern japanese cuisine fushimi what is this he gave me tissues and he did send me a booster box of hollow live what 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 <laughs> what is this dude trash and he sent me oh something flew out a pocky keychain that's really great that's lovely i collect keychains so that's amazing Andy sent me a cute Arcanine pin. That's kind of cute. That's that's pretty adorable. That's nice. I'll, I'll take that. Ah, coin. That's that's lovely. That's a really nice coin. Okay. Andy sent me some Pokemon tape. This is like tape that is a Grape Academy. Why does it say okay? So it's like Pokemon tape. That's really cool. That's really great. I'll, I'll use that. And then there's probably some more bulk in here. There are packs. There is a slab in here. Uh, so there are PS. There's a PSA slab in here with Demon Slayer cards from what I'm seeing, which is lovely. Um, so yeah, let's open that later with the slab. And there is a sealed Obsidian Flames ETB. <laughs> Wait, didn't I send him one of these too? And he just sent it back maybe? I don't, I don't know, dude. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then you sent me basketball cards. A Mel Metal, and then a blue coin of sorts. I can't, I can't make my head out of this. What is, is this? Dialga? Is this is it Dialga? That was Lugia. There we go. I can see his face now. That's a nice coin though. Lugia coins actually pretty good um and that's it that's from the box okay basically in terms of like openable stuff this is what we have to open the obsidian flames etb this latrell spree wall basketball uh stuff and this stuff here so um the sleeves are nice so far and this oh yeah and this random thing that whatever it is so yeah let's see what was uh, inside these packs shall we all right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to open up the basketball cards first, because why not? And we'll see what is inside here. Um, and see how much of this is going in the trash. Andrew Wiggins, this is, these aren't rookie cards, are they? They're definitely probably not, but no, they're not. But this is an Andrew Wiggins card, James Harden, Mikael Bridges, dude, like Drew Holiday. What kind of cards are these? Why don't they have the... The jerseys on there. Alonzo Mourning, Jamal Murray. It's a pretty cool card. They're pretty nice looking cards, but I don't collect basketball cards, so I don't know if any of these are worth anything. Knowing him, probably not. But a Joel Embiid card. <laughs> Robert Parrish, okay. 
Bill Walton, Chris Paul. Is he playing for Golden State here? I think he is. Dennis Rodman. Okay. 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 VC. Vincenity. I mean, I'm not thinking I don't collect basketball cards anymore, but he's one of my favorite players of all time. My goodness gracious. Jordan Clarkson. Shaquille. Dude, why don't these jerseys have any of like, is this like a, 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 a theme? Why don't they have the actual team names on here? Very interesting. Russell DeMontis Sabonis. I am watching that new Netflix uh, documentary, so it's interesting to see him there. Darren Williams is probably not playing anymore. T-Mac, oh my days, bro. I thought this was uh, Stefan Marbury for a second, but Latrell Spear was pretty legit. But T-Mac on the Orlando Magic was a legend, bro. So let's go into the Obsidian Flames GTB, ladies and gentlemen. I, I feel like this is something that I sent him and he sent it back. So I, I might just keep this sealed, bro. I like having sealed ETBs. Yeah, I think I'll keep this one sealed. So we'll start off with this. This does have a PSA slab in here, so I'll take out the slab first. Okay, and I think there's a retro Pokemon pack in here, to be honest with you. I'm not sure. What is this? Oh, a Pokemon X and Y Flashfire. That's legit. I've never opened this before. And some Japanese packs, clearly. And some older packs. Okay, so these are worth thousands of dollars. And these are, if I know him, probably dead packs. And this might be a light or a heavy XY Flashfire pack. Knowing him, they might be light. I don't know. But Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer. And there's a $100 Pokemon card here, are you saying? A $100 Pokemon card here? Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, these... Okay. Oh, this is pretty cool, though, to be fair. LeBron, Curry, and Durant. Tops new. I will actually... I might not trash this one. I might keep this one. That's pretty nice. Um, These are going in the trash. Let's go into the Paradigm Trigger booster packs, ladies and gentlemen. See if we can pull anything nice from Paradigm Trigger. Knowing him, probably not. But hey, bro, you never know. He can surprise you. He's a really good guy when he wants to be. Let's see. Oh, yes. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Are these all light packs, my friend? Are these all light or is any of them heavy? No, clearly not. Can any of these be? Paradigm Trigger was actually my, like, like entryway into like Japanese booster packs. I loved Paradigm Trigger so, so much. Um, but not when they're all light packs. <laughs> oh, this is... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm pretty confident he sent me the ETB uh, back that I sent to him. <laughs> if I did send him, I feel like I did send him to Sydney Flames. That might be the one you sent back. That, that could be, that might be it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe he just didn't want it. But there we go. Okay, all trash. These are the four things I feel like that might be high value stuff, which I'm excited about. XY Flashfire, I don't I don't open retro packs, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm I'm curious. I mean, this one's it's probably light pack, but who cares? I'll open it anyway. It's for y'all anyway, so let's see. Well, that, that came off really lightly. Okay, here we go. XY Flashfire, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if it's light or heavy pack. I don't know if it's way packs back in the day. We don't know. Esper, Gumi, Litleo. I don't even know what the hit's supposed to be in here. Centret, Helioptile, okay, an Ultra Ball, Reverse Hollow, and we pulled a Butterfree. I'm assuming that's all we pulled. That's lovely. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, we got an Ultra Ball, but these are older cards and older packs, so I will keep these just for fun, and that is now an opened retro pack. Did I make the right decision? Yes, we did. Emotional damage! $100 card, apparently. A $100 Pokemon card. Let's see what this value is going to be, ladies and gentlemen. Um, he obviously sends a lot of, like, jokey stuff, <laughs> as y'all know. But he does send value when it needs to happen as well. But, uh, yeah, both of these are apparently 100 bucks. Let's see uh, what's uh, inside here without ruining the cards. There we go. Here we go. First card. Let's go this way. The English card is going to be a $100 hollow armorage. <laughs> Arm Rouge, I'm sorry. <laughs> he got me. <laughs> he got me good. That's trash. Okay. Oh, well, thank God tomorrow's trash day. Okay. Let's see what this Japanese card is, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, let's see. This is supposed to be $100, he says. He got me so good. <laughs> <laughs> got him! <laughs> he got me so good. <laughs> okay. So, uh, 25th anniversary, Zekrom. All right, bro. All right. That's a cool card, though. I like the sleeve, it's nice, but I mean, it is literally, that's, that's garbage. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what the PSA slab is all about. Um, We'll go this way. We'll cover it. How do we want to cover this? We'll cover it this way. Here we go. You can't see anything that way. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 
So we go from this. Let's see what PSA Slab is all about. It does say 253 out of 199. It is a gold card. <laughs> this is what I sent him. He sent it back. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Dude, why did you? Okay, I, I thought I said value. Okay. All right, so let's go on this one. Let's see what this is all about. I guess this is the final thing, to be fair. So this was a very fun deal. Um, okay, so this is an ARS slab. Um, Rarity, super rare. Card ID, 0 out of 83. In 69. Release in 2021. Expansion. I can't read that. Grade 10 plus. So it's a 10 plus grade. I think it's the best you can get, if I'm not mistaken. And we will go from here. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this card is, ladies and gentlemen. And it is a... Holy crap. I guess that's what the value of the box is. <laughs> okay, so it's an Altard Sylveon uh, from EV Heroes in Japanese at a 10 plus grade by ARS. That's actually crazy value. Uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's really rare and that's really nice. That's probably the nicest thing uh, in this box. So I think that... Uh, in terms of what we traded, he gave me my Maridon back, if I'm not mistaken, the gold Maridon back. And he also gave me my Obsidian Flames ETB back. Um, so y'all can do the math on that. And he did give me an XY Flashfire pack, which, um, yeah, I guess if you wanted to hold value, you probably want to keep that sealed. But I don't know if it was a heavy pack or light pack. It was probably a light pack. I don't know if the Ultra Ball is supposed to be part of the heavy hollow there. But ladies and gentlemen, we did get these, um, these as part of the deal. And that was fun to open, of course, and also this, but I'm I'm not going to open this. What what even is this? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a trade here. Um, let me know what you think. If I did get a W or an L, let me know down in the comment section below. But I do want to say thank you all so much for always constantly loving and supporting the channel. It goes, it's a huge deal to me um, when everyone, like I said before, um, enjoys the videos I put out. So I really do appreciate y'all. Thank you all so much for all that. Uh, now, before we end the video, I do want to say... Uh, Hey, bud, I appreciate the trade. Always interesting as usual. <laughs> uh, but this card is very nice. This is a very, very nice card. Um, the 10 plus, this must have been pretty expensive to be fair. Because ARS getting a 10 plus is quite tough. So I do appreciate this. It's really nice. Um, but yeah, thank y'all so much. Have a great rest of y'all's week. And I will see you guys next time.